Many things in Lithuania, like in other Eastern and European countries, came with the promise of truth. So the politics of truth was a wink phrase, a wink expression by Andriy Sakharov, by Sergei Kovalov, by Russian dissidents. The politics of truth. Of course, that was floating in the air. What um, became as a drama, as a passionate drama, ended up as a farce in five or seven years because we understood quite well that a new political class was emerging. The new elite emerged and we understood that the devil was lurking quite safely in the detail. And the de details were that very few had decent and good biographies. Among politicians, almost everybody had a skeleton in the closet. And that was very easy to blackmail them. That's why the emerging secret services, the state security department, so you just named them, they capitalized on that and kept them in the pocket quite safely. Another reason is that parents, parents and the offspring relationship. Um, many of these people have very difficult or problematic family stories about the parents who were either of nomenclatura or war perpetrators, or criminals in the Second World War. And again, that was a passionate and dramatic story. People had something to keep in secret. They had something to hide, as simple as that. Then, we have to assume that a lie became a survival strategy for the new political class. Many people had so something to hide. They had, they had this skeleton in the closet. They had to rewrite their biographies. They had to reshape their biographies. Uh, that's how it was, uh, now, then it became an anecdote how the secretary, uh, the first secretary of the Lithuanian Communist Party, Albert Brazauskas, said that in fact all of them, they deeply believe in Lithuania and they love Lithuania and that's why they served the best they could. So one, one way was to choose the Communist Party, another to go to the dissenters, but they all loved Lithuania. So of course that became an anecdote, but uh, you can imagine this kind of travesty. Then the past. The offspring uh, of uh, their parents who kept their loyalty and they understood quite well that it was very important to twist history, rewriting it and showing that the victims could have been perpetrators or the other way around, perpetrators could have been victims in the Second World War. That became a very traumatic thing in Lithuania as well. So then, what, uh, what, came, what came with a wonderful promise of truth because that was dissidents and dissenters who were behind it. And I think that Václav Havel became an absolutely unique case because he was president of the state, he was a dissident, he was a playwright, an intellectual hero of Europe, but this was not to become in Russia, in Lithuania, in Ukraine, dissidents.